If you're struggling getting email open, I bet you there are two reasons. First reason is you're from line. Second reason is your subject line. Today, we're going to hit home the reasons and take a deep dive real quick to show you exactly how you can get this fixed. Especially if you're doing online lead generation, this is going to make a massive difference in your open rates. So stick around. You're going to miss out. So let's talk about the subject lines a little bit and the from line. So I want you to be aware of the difference of your email when you get a mail from somebody, the from line and the subject line. So the from line is when you go into your profile or your settings of your email sending service and you put your name in there. So that's your from line and then your subject line is obvious. Now, I want you to look at this. If you got email from somebody and you didn't know me and you signed up online for something and you didn't know me from Adam and you were trying to get something free from me or whatever it was, and I, you got an email that says Patty Sampson and the email subject line, trust me, this is exactly the stuff I've seen. I take it literally out of stuff that I've seen people send <laughs> in our business. Would you open that mail, right? What on this screen looks like I'm a real estate agent. Nothing. Nothing looks like it. Now, if I was really wanting some real estate information, I'm like scanning my inbox looking for something. This is our typical email that's happening. This is what's going on. So here's your first tip of the day, you guys. I mean, you've got more tips, but this is one of my favorites. You're going to go into your profiles and your CRM, your email, your Gmail, whatever wherever you're sending from, and you're going to change your from name. You don't have to put your whole name in there. I would recommend you don't necessarily because realistically, people that know you're going to know you. People that don't know you don't really give a rat's ass what your last name is. Okay, sorry. <laughs> but they, they don't. They just want what's in it for me, right? Send me what I asked for, Patty. Whatever your last name is, I don't care. Just send it to me. So the thing is, they don't even know I'm Patty because they're on some landing page with no information about me, maybe right? How many of you are doing landing pages and there's not one in bit of information, by the way, you need to put some information about you on there, even if it's at the very bottom, because, you know, ethically for our, our, you know, rules, you need to have your brokerage information on there. You don't have to have your name, you have to have your brokerage info on there. So I'm not going to tell you legal stuff, go talk to your broker, but get your stuff on there, even if it's at the bottom, just it, it's, in our state, it can't be past the scroll line. So, all right. So, um, change it, do something like I've done on this left side from this. So because when they see that you're an agent, they're going to know. Now you guys all got emails from me that probably said CRM something on it, CRM, whatever you could see. So you knew it was me, CRM something, right? And then the subject line, it has to say something about real estate, you guys. I'm going to give you a list of my favorite subject lines tomorrow and um, to get more mail open, right? So again, got to show up live, you got it. But the key really is that you get people engaged with you. And if you put something local in here, you know, um, something along these lines, I'm going to go into more detail on subject lines tomorrow, but this is really key. So that's the first thing I want you to do. Go at the end of today, go do it right now. I mean, after we're done, change it right now. And I'll bet you'll see a massive difference in your open rates if you have a way to check your rates, okay, in your CRM or wherever, okay? This is what it looks like in your inbox now. So it looks way more like, yes, I'm going to open that. That's I, I was waiting for that market trend info from Patty. And my first name is in it. My Mary. Wow, Mary, I got it's for me. You know, I'm, I'm a big fan of that, by the way. I usually put their first name in the subject line somewhere. And most of our CRMs will allow you to put the uh, merge field codes into that. So make sure you get it done. So here's some tips. Um, when I give you, these are just a few. I'm going to give these to you tomorrow. So but these are tips on the ways to write your campaign or your subject lines so that you have them. But uh, definitely make sure that you, you know, really focus on this because this is one of our biggest issues. They're terrible. And if we're counting on the CRM drip campaigns that are built in our, our systems, they're not good at those. They're terrible at them, honestly. So we, we want to get better at that. Mm -hmm.